got a gnat. Gnat in my ear. Hello everybody, and this is our homemade massive peanut sprayer covering six rows at a time, 18 feet. I know a lot of you guys run the massive John Deere sprayers, maybe like the new R4060 with a 1600 gallon tank and the, what is a 120 foot boom. But this is kind of our homemade rig. It just covers the peanuts when they're small. Then we hop back over to our 24 row sprayer. So check it out. We're spraying some uh, headline for our leaf spot and some triple 20 just to spruce everything up. This is, this is our little baby sprayer. So hop along, grab you some uh, peanuts to munch on and let's get this video started. Good morning. It's uh, Saturday and we're out here. We're gonna spray our peanuts with our little six row sprayer. You may say, well, why such a small sprayer? If you do the math, you're still saving money by cutting, by using the small sprayer. Let me explain. All right, so if you broadcast it with a big sprayer, you're covering your peanuts and your soil. Well, if you're just putting it directly on the peanuts and not having to put it on the soil, you can cut the rate of your chemicals in half. For example, headline that we're spraying right now is $1.13 an ounce. So you figure a full rate per acre, if you're gonna broadcast it, is 10 ounces per the acre. Well, you're looking at about $11 an acre there. Now that's just one acre of headline. That gets expensive. Like this particular field I'm in is 200 acres. If you cut the rate in half, you're only spending about a thousand to do the 200 acres. You're saving a thousand dollars just in that. And if you do the math with the fuel, you're still saving because you're running at a very, very low RPM to spray the peanuts. So you're not burning a lot of fuel. Um, so that's why we do it. That's why we use our little homemade rig. It's on 36 inch spacings, which is directly over the peanut instead of 18 inches like uh, the bigger sprayers are that just broadcast across the whole field. Dare me to say it, everything's been going real smooth. And I say that in, in 30 minutes, I hope I don't have a breakdown. Y'all come take a ride with me. I'm so bored right now. guys now i am going to get some uh, irrigations fired up here we are in our cotton field all this got drowned out so i've got to trek over here close this valve and gonna get the pivot across the way our six tire rinky get it rolling got a little bit of rain last night but uh just give the cotton just a little bit more try to get as many of those seeds up as possible huge area here that none of this got planted boom all right, let's hop in the truck and go down to the other pivot, get it fired up. And here we are at our Rinky six tower pivot. Let's get it going. Uh, see, we're pumping out here about 800 gallons a minute. There's our little baby cotton coming up. They're at the two leaf stage, two leaves. Bunch of volunteer peanuts popping up as well. Pretty quick, we'll fall in here and spray this with Extend Max so that'll smoke all of our volunteer peanuts and any other weeds we may have coming up. Get her nice and clean, and I won't have anything robbing the cotton. You know, you don't want anything robbing it. You know, all your fertilizer, the water, you just want cotton out here to uptake what you're putting out. Because if there's a weed, if there's a morning glory, if there's a pig weed, you name it, coffee weed. Uh, chipacabra weed if there's anything any weeds out here uh, it's gonna take up your fertilizer the rainfall 
the water from the pivot. Uh, what else? The oh, I don't know. All right, now we are in peanut field. Back in the peanut field, spreading fertilizer, 200 pounds per acre. Years ago, we would always spread fertilizer before we plant. Well, about two years ago, we swapped, and now we do it after the fact. Uh, fertilizer prices sky high this year. So, like I say, 200 pounds not doing a pile. Let us know what you guys do. I'll show the analysis here in just a minute. And yeah, Newton Crouch Buggy does a great job uh, slinging out 36 uh, rows, right? No, 12 rows. Yeah, just doing 36 feet, 12 rows. It could do more, but uh, yeah, we keep it simple. We don't have a huge amount of uh, peanuts we're trying to cover, so it does a good job with that. And I didn't film yesterday, but my nephew Trevor, he actually ran this yesterday. And Trevor, if you're watching, did a fantastic job. First time ever really driving a tractor ever and uh, caught on like that, so. That is what we're putting out. You guys let me know. 200 pounds per acre, is that gonna, is that gonna pay for itself? Somebody is tearing the dirt road up on a full wheeler. All right, let's head to another pivot, get it fired up, and then we'll wrap this video up, fellas. All right, here we are. Pivot number two, gonna get it fired up. This is 100 acres. This is the last field of cotton we planted. And cotton's up good, but again, give it a little more water, get every seed up, and get all the bang for the buck that we got. That makes sense? All the bang for the buck? Yeah, the most bang, the most bang for your buck. And I believe this is the oldest pivot on the farm. Dad, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Dad bought this pivot in 1979. It was over there, then we cleared out some land, moved it over here. But yeah, 1979, what's that, 43? Four, yeah, 43 years. Well, if you've been a fan of this channel for a while now, you're familiar with my twin brother, Randy. Um, he's really not involved in the farm a whole lot. He comes out, makes his TikTok. So if you don't follow him on TikTok, uh, check it out. It's Randy the Farmer. Uh, but he's got a couple endorsements. So kind of obligated to, to play this for him. So dark. I don't like this new camera. Anyway, one company he's part of, parted parted with is directpivotparts.com so i'm gonna play you this uh, video of him showing their new black max couplers Ow. tell you what working on an irrigation system can be aggravating especially when you're working on these no good for nothing old style couplers that's why we swapped over to the black max coupler from directpivotparts.com with inflex technology all you need is a 9 16th wrench and it fits all drive shaft sizes out with the old and in with the new ting ting is it moving off there all right now that we got this piece of junk out of the way it's time to install the black max universal coupler one bolt how easy was that hey trevor hand me a nine thanks that easy folks you can find trevor honestly guys you're still using these throw them down and get you a black max universal coupler $22 directpivotparts.com directpivotparts.com all right everybody well hope you enjoyed that video check them out directpivotparts.com and until next time jesus loves you guys keep it in the field rows see ya bye